So the first thing you need to think about is why do you want to get a dog in the first place? Are you looking for a family pet? Are you looking for an adventure dog? Or are you looking for a hunting dog? Short hairs make great family pets. Don't get me wrong. They're very affectionate. They're great with kids. They're great with other animals. But they need more than just the couch to hang out on all day. Yeah, absolutely. And from a hunting standpoint, short hairs are extremely versatile. That gives you the ability to, you know, kind of... uh, jack of all trades, if you will, and then master of a few that you put a little extra time into there. Um, But that's upland hunting, that's waterfall hunting, that's uh, even the potential of rabbit or fur of other type hunting. And then even... um, Blood trailing. Blood trailing, yeah, absolutely. Shed hunting. There's lots of hunting that you can do with these dogs, as well as being outdoors and active with them as that adventure dog. Trail running, hiking, kayaking, camping, just going to the lake and swimming on the weekends. So figure out what is the reason you want to get a new dog. So once you decided what your purpose is for getting a dog and considering a German short hair, we want to talk to you about German short hair's incredible intelligence or at least above average intelligence, and trainability. With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, they have powerful minds. Yes, and that responsibility falls onto us as owners or prospective owners. You need to have a plan in place that you have outlets. Those are physical outlets and mental outlets that are going to prevent these above average intelligence dogs from trying to figure out how to entertain themselves. Definitely. These guys need a job like we talked about before. They can't just be expected to be a house pet and a well-behaved house pet without having something to challenge them both physically and mentally. So the next thing that we need to look at is space requirements as well as exercise requirements. Yeah, we get people that ask us all the time, can I get a short hair while living in an apartment? And the answer is yes, but you definitely need a plan in place to make sure that you can get that dog, that short hair, the exercise that they need. Yeah, we've been there. We've done it. Yeah. Without that exercise, without that outlet, your short hair is going to become a little stir crazy and probably a lot naughty. The opposite end of that is to have the wide open country home. You say, I've got an acreage and I have lots of room for the dogs to run or roam or singular dog. And that in itself isn't going to be enough either. Short hairs are independent creatures by breeding. They're designed to be hunting dogs and and independently hunt while hunting for you. So it's cooperative, but at the same time, left left to their own devices, they're going to go hunting, which can cause trouble. Especially when they're unsupervised and just roaming freely on the countryside. Absolutely. So whether you have the apartment or in a house with a yard, city living, or out in the country, you're still going to have to have a plan. And that plan needs to include a structured game plan for training, both mental and physical, Mm -hmm. and exercise so that they can have an outlet for that energy. Tired dogs are happy dogs. The next thing that we need to talk about with short hairs specifically is health and longevity. Short hairs, for the most part, are a very healthy breed. Uh, They have very little health issues and breeders have been doing the right thing by breeding healthy dogs and doing health clearances. And hopefully that continues so that the integrity of the breed doesn't change. The number one issues that you may have actually kind of fall into this category. And you may be saying, why are health and longevity an issue? But long life uh, is is the thing, right? So we, we see an average of somewhere between 14 and 18 years for our short hairs to live. And you can expect short hair is gonna be around a while. We actually have a 15 year old short hair that we lovingly refer to as grandpa. And we hope that he'll be around for a while longer. He still is getting up and down the stairs great, eating great, has great bladder control, and still acts like a puppy when he goes outside and gets that fresh air in his system. So a short hair has the potential of living a very long life, which takes a lot of commitment from an owner. Overall, a healthy breed, 
should be fun to be part of your family. For a long time to come. <laughs>、right。Absolutely. This happens to be true for all breeds, but there is some variance. Not all dogs and all breeds are created equal. So it's very important to do your research, do your due diligence, find a breeder that has the same goals in mind with the dogs that they're producing. All right. So those are the five things that we want you to consider if you are thinking. About getting a short hair, and no matter if you get a short hair puppy or you end up picking a different breed, it's going to be important moving forward to have realistic expectations about what bringing home a new puppy is like. Definitely, getting a puppy is a lot of work, and you need to be prepared. There's going to be potty training and accidents in the house. There's going to be crate training and lots of crying during that process. The puppies are going to want to bite and chew everything, including you and probably your kids if you have them. So, getting a puppy is a commitment, and you need to be prepared. We hope this helped you guys. If you are considering getting a short hair or even another breed, I'm the guy with the pink gun, and I'm Cat the dog trainer. And we'll see you in the next video. Use that one, us.